of our Switzerland recap, we introduced you to Matt's brother Ian Hello. <laughs> and journeyed to some amazing places like Lauterbrunnen, Grindelwald, and Lucerne. This week, we're taking you with us to Lake Zurich, Rheinfall, the Lindt Chocolate Factory, and some other cool places. Stick around to see the epic conclusion of our time in the beautiful land of Switzerland. So here's the deal. About a week ago, my family that we're staying with here in Switzerland let me know about a swim that happens on this lake. And it basically just goes the width of the lake. So I think it's like 1.5 kilometers. I haven't swam in quite some time, uh, especially that distance. My family swims every single day here. So I'm attempting to uh, make this swim on not very much <laughs> practice here. So it should be fun. Here's to uh, making it across Lake Zurich. You ready for this? The real question is, are you ready for this? I don't know if I am. Yeah, we're about to head out to uh, go to Lake Zurich, where I will Zurich. be s swimming across it. So we'll see how that goes. If he doesn't make it all the way across, then... Um, Ian will give a touching eulogy on this I will this, give a touching eulogy, and on this Shelby YouTube will be channel. the only one on these videos from now on. <laughs> he may be claimed by the deep. Okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's see those goggles. Good luck. See ya. Bye. We'll see you at the finish line. While Matt was swimming across the lake, Ian and I waited for him on the other side at a park called Zurichhorn. This is the best spot for picnics, sunbathing, and swimming in the lake. There is even a cafe and gelato stand. Meanwhile, at the starting line. How was it? Ooh, it was good. Lots of people out there. Do you know what your time was? Um, I think I got done in like 35, 40 minutes. Wow. You glad you did it? <laughs> Very glad. Yeah. Yeah, super cool. Congratulations. Something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Ian's last day. A sayonara to Switzerland. Sayonara. Cheeseburger in paradise. Well, it's been real, my dude. Sayonara, my We actually didn't know about Rhine Fall before Matt's family suggested it. Turns out it's the most powerful waterfall in all of Europe. It's also a popular tourist destination, but if you go in the morning, you might get lucky like we did since we had the place all to ourselves. 
there's also a ton of other activities you can do here, so I'll share the link in the description for your next trip to Rhinefall. We were right there. Next, they took us to the Munot Fortress, the Swiss town Schaffhausen. It was built in the 16th century, but now it's mostly used as a space for special events like balls and banquets. You can visit for free and climb the spiral stairs to the roof for the most spectacular view. Our next stop was the medieval town of Steinem Rhein. This town on the Rhine River is mostly known for its beautiful fresco painted buildings in the city center. lunch at a great place right by the river and had the most amazing metze. That is basically a meal made up of Mediterranean appetizers. Being fans of all things chocolate, it was a no-brainer that we had to visit the Lint factory in Zurich. After buying tickets, we were able to tour the museum and factory and even taste some of the chocolate. Okay, a lot of the chocolate. I actually think for lint, I like the milk chocolate better. Mm -hmm. I usually like dark chocolate better as chocolate, but I think I like the other two better here. Do you like the white chocolate? I like uh -oh. it. People are going to get mad at you.
I want one of these in my house. Steve's and chocolate. Chocolate. It's chocolate heaven. We're crossing another thing off of our Switzerland bucket list this evening. We're driving to a town that we like called Rapisville and we are hopefully going to go roller skating. Are you excited to roller skate? Yes. <laughs> I'm excited for roller skating. Even just like a date sounds nice because we haven't really gone out much, just us two lately. So it'll just be kind of a fun little activity and we'll get to explore up this hill a little bit and see it kind of come out live at night. So it should be fun. We uh, saw that there's nobody here. So we're going to go try to find some food and then come back when it's a little bit later and pop in. Rapisville is a small town on the eastern edge of Lake Zurich. We found it so quaint and charming and it became one of our favorite spots to get out and explore for the day. It's known by locals as the town of roses because of how many rose gardens are spread throughout the city. Tell us about our evening. It has been a roller coaster of emotions, not like the Ferris wheel. We were told that we would be able to eat at one place and then we were stabbed in the back, but we ended up having a delightful pizza by the water. And now we are treating ourselves to some drinks and some alcoholic desserts, which is a fun combination. I figured it was only natural, if not necessary, that we should have a charcuterie lunch by the water as one of our last meals in Switzerland. Voila! Cheese board complete. And delicious. Activate lake mode. Pretty tasty, pretty wonderful out here. We're gonna go boating. We leave in two days. We figured we had time to do one more fun thing in Switzerland, a little bit more of an excursion. We're gonna try to fit it in and have a little time out on a rowboat on Lake Zurich and take our cooler packs and have some drinks. Just enjoy this really, really hot day. I think it's the hottest day it's been. It's like 93 as a high today. So we figured we need to get out on the water. We gotta stay cool today. We rented our rowboat with a company at the northwest side of Lake Zurich. I would tell you the name, but I know I'll butcher it, so we'll just leave it in the description for you. Thoughts on the boat? Uh, I 
I figured it would be manual labor for me, and it is. Shelby's just enjoying her. Nice I offer to switch, but if you know, it's actually kind of. A, is it kind of therapeutic? Yeah. Take all my anger out. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Stop rocking the boat, literally. Now I get to sit back and relax. Watch you row. She's rowing us right into that ship over there. Yeah. It messes with your brain, right? It does. I'm much better at rowing. You would think that we're sponsored by Lemon Soda. We have them. Somewhere. If Lemon Soda is watching us, please sponsor us. We like your soda. That beach right over there is where I started the race or the swimming event. And then we swim all the way across to that little building over there. Could hardly see it. Right it's fun to be back out on the lake. Thanks for suggesting this. Mm -hmm. It took a while to get here and it was a little stressful and I might regret it later, <laughs> but I probably won't. I'm enjoying myself right now and that's all that matters. Now that's definitely not all that matters, but it is nice to be out on the lake with my wife. Thank you, Sean. We just finished our rowboat excursion and it was really fun. We got a rowboat really easily. I will say I read online on their website that you have to give $50 in cash as a deposit and you get it back after but just to make sure that you like take care of the boat. And so we had to go to an ATM to get $50 in cash because we didn't have any left in um, Swiss francs. But then when we got there, that was not a policy that was in, well, or at least they weren't, policy, in, they weren't the enforcing it. people that were working there were the equivalent of like the San Clemente like surf crowd. <laughs> yeah. They were they super were chill, really chill and chill. like kind of just messing with you and like having fun. So it probably is a policy. I would probably still bring 50 francs I guess so, as a deposit. Better safe than sorry, you That's should just true. bring it. That's true. Because we don't want to be blamed okay, for like, something that Shelby told you to do okay. once, and then you ended up doing it, and That's then fair. you got all mad at Shelby. Don't take my obviously. advice, obviously. But anyway, pay we'll attention figure out. to the policies. That's all I'm trying to say. Are you angry? Yes. Okay. You didn't take it all out on the boat? No, you gotta be angry when you row. You What's still have angry? some left for me. How sweet. <laughs> It was a fun way to spend one of our last days here. Probably our last day in Zurich City. We probably won't be driving out here the rest of the trip. So, goodbye Zurich. about to chase sunsets. Not the reality realty show from Netflix, but the real <laughs> sunset in the world. And we gotta come back home and binge watch Outer Banks because we're both 17 <laughs> year old girls. <laughs> Sunset out there. Didn't realize you have to be on the other side of the lake to see the actual sunset. <laughs> so it's okay.
It's our last day in Zurich, and uh, we're heading out to the lake for one last swim. It's hard to believe that it's uh, gone this fast. We'll definitely miss this place, it's pretty incredible. Today is our last full day in Switzerland, which feels pretty crazy. We've been here the longest. We've been here for two months exactly. And we've kind of made a home of it. So it's bittersweet to leave for sure. We'll miss Matt's extended family who we've been staying with so much. Just love them so much and know them so well from spending time with them. And it's been special. It's definitely been life-changing. That might sound over dramatic, but I don't know, when you just get used to in other places, like customs and routines, it changes you and <laughs> it changes you. And you can either try to go back to the way you were before, or you can embrace the new things that you've learned and experienced and continue those new habits, routines, um, and implement them into your own life and create something new. So that's what I'm hoping we can do with the things that we've learned and experienced here in Switzerland. I know there's a lot for us left to experience outside of Switzerland, but this place will definitely hold a special place in our hearts. So it's bittersweet to leave. I'm looking forward to someday coming back here, maybe showing our kids if we get to have them, and just keep exploring the world. <laughs>